Thanks. We have been reporting on the growing mass of seaweed out in the Atlantic. But beyond the potential impact to our central Florida beaches, there's concern about what it could do to the sea turtle nesting season. Western Brevard Bureau Chief Scott Heidler spoke with the marine scientists on these threats. While they might be graceful swimmers spending most of their life in the ocean, when sea turtles come on shore for their nesting season. Every time they reproduce, they come up on the beach and there they're kind of awkward um, and they, they, they're not really good at, uh, at crawling over obstacles. With the threat of sargassum seaweed coming ashore in central Florida, possibly in great quantities, as the bloom out in the Atlantic is the biggest ever seen, it could pose a threat to the sea turtles and hatchlings. If there's big piles of, of sargassum on the beach, those could provide obstacles. I think it's especially a problem potentially for the hatchlings. Um, the hatchlings are so small and so awkward that I think they could get hung up. Possibly preventing them getting to the water, but also exposing them to predators. It's not just the physical obstacles that the sea turtles and the hatchlings will have to contend with. It's the odor of the sargassum itself and the impact that could have on the turtles. Instinctually, sea turtles return to the beach on which they were born to lay eggs of their own. If you have a strong rotting smell overwhelming a beach when the hatchlings are born, that could affect maybe the imprinting of on, on that beach. Studies have shown that nesting sea turtles will avoid beaches with sargassum, but if they have to travel far to find the right beach. Getting to their beach and laying eggs, all that takes energy. And if they have to divert for more than a few miles, they're using up energy that, that would go into egg laying. So that be, can become a, a, a stress problem that affects their reproductive potential. In Cape Canaveral, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.